Well, it's day three of LCS 2020 with us. Uh, yeah. Well, it's day three of LCS 2020. I'm joined right now by Josuke, who's cackling maniacally because I definitely did not mess up my first intro to this interview. Also, we are in the Alienware Arena right now, soon to be a PC Bong style thing here at LCS, which is kind of cool. Either way, I'm joined by Josuke. Josuke, after a really tough first loss, you guys came back in dominant fashion today against 100T. What changed between yesterday and today? Uh, I think just yesterday we did uh, some good things, uh, especially around around mid, like we were abusing the Oriana Flash. And then uh, there was a mid fight, and Rick fight, and we lost the game from that. Like, uh, they were legit just pressing their buttons and winning because they had uh, Senna, Oriana, pressing ball around. So we were like, okay, I guess we can't play. But today was more like we took, uh, yeah, the fights that uh, got us advantage. We were confident about it, and uh, we just went for them. And uh, we were, I had, I think, the whole game, and eventually won. I think we would have won way sooner, but... Uh, just we went a uh, really safe way, pretty much. Yeah. Like we really choked them out. Well, about a week and a half ago during Asset Day, when you guys were all over here for pictures and stuff, I interviewed two of your teammates mm -hmm. who told me that you are a little wild in scrims and that you like to just, it takes the whole team to kind of hold you back from picking every fight you possibly can. Mm -hmm. But I kind of felt like that was how it was today on LeBlanc. You were chasing down Ryoma constantly. So mm -hmm. is this just your, the play style you're hoping to bring to North America? Mm, it's a playstyle that I like. I'm, I'm confident about my abilities, and just I tend to just take the fights that I want. And uh, I think just uh, difference from scrims and stages, like stage, uh, is just uh, way more clear what's going on. And I'm like, uh, if I take a fight, I think it's like 100% that it's going to su succeed. So what you saw me on stage, as I think I did only one mistake this game, like mechanical wise uh, or just decision making wise, like when I got caught by on the bush uh, from Rise. That honestly I did not expect him there, sure. but uh, like I wanted to flank Sharagan. But uh, yeah, the, that's my. I I say that that's my playstyle. Yeah. Should we expect to see you mostly on like mages, assassins type characters? I think you can expect it uh, on any on any champion. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Mark Z uh, photobombing us right now. Do you know who he is? He's on the analyst desk. Yeah, yeah, I know him. You can pan the camera to yeah, him. Yeah. I don't know how well it's going to work. Uh, like, yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's him. Yes, it's that him. is <laughs> That is him. He does that. Yes. 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 He is the silver scrapes guy. It's him. Yes. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> anyway. I like how that's what you know about him. I have the image of him like... <laughs> I have the image of him right now, like, yes. doing that. Yes. That is him. I do a show with him. It's, it's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So, uh, what has it been like for you joining EG? How does this team compare to some of the teams that you've been on in the past? Mm. Well, it's uh, different uh, because uh, there are more experienced players. Like, uh, all the teams I've been to so far, the, the world's never experienced players. Like, only Vitality Cabochard. Yeah. But, like, we entered as four players. Uh, and if you don't count <laughs> Gilius as a veteran, if, if you count him as a rookie, then everyone has no experience sure. but Cabochard. And uh, so now I'm joining, and there is, uh, well, uh, Bang. But I don't have to do an introduction. Yes. Sven plays for a long, a long time as well. He won um, titles in NA. Well, Zezel went worse uh, two out of two times, so it's like there is a, a lot of experience here. Yeah. The only one that doesn't have much experience is Kuma. And uh, I think it's different in that sense because everyone knows uh, what, what his job is and uh, everyone gives input in review. Um, while when you are on a rookie team, it's different. Just uh, You are just uh, testing stuff. Yeah. You, you, you see w what works and what, what not. But I think here uh, everyone has like uh, a more... Uh, they defined way of playing already because they know their personality already, pretty much. I was telling someone earlier while I was watching the game, mm -hmm. I feel like, and, and please tell me if I'm wrong, but it feels like a lot of EG games might hinge on you because you're going what? to, uh, well, it might hinge, like they might depend on you because I feel like in some games, like you, you seem like the type of player who's going to be very, you're, you're going to go all in and you will either die trying or you will kill the other team doing it. Mm -hmm. And so I almost kind of feel like so much of EG, like win or losses are going to be from the mid lane. Do you think that's fair? I think uh, that a good game of League of Legends, you don't really need to win 
based on mechanics mm -hmm. usually. It's based on macro and just uh, punishing mistakes. So I think uh, you're gonna see me doing plays only if it requires uh, to yeah. do that, yeah. Gotcha. But or like if it's really free and I see it and I'm like, uh, uh, like usually they try to stop me, but if I'm confident, I'm just going in. So it's like, uh, yeah, as I said, it's uh, only if needed, but uh, I don't have to pop off for anything. I, I don't. I don't need to. It's just uh, you can play for macro and uh, just punish mistakes and usually win games. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how long have you been in the U.S. for? I don't know how long you guys were able to scram and practice. What day? So what today, day is today? today is twenty-seven. Yes. So it's been yeah two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. Yeah. And I came on the thirteenth. Are you fine? Are you comfortable here? Yeah, it's good. It's, yeah. uh, the weather is similar to Italy, actually. Yes. Like uh, in Berlin, I never saw the sun in my, in my life, yeah. I think. I only saw snow sometimes. It, it's similar to Korea, pretty much, Berlin. But LA is like similar to Italy in weather, in food. Well, there is, I'm not eating... Uh, yeah, you <laughs> said you're on keto in the, in the yeah, interview, which yeah. I, I find very funny. Because I, I feel like a lot of the European pros, they come over here and they just want to eat all of the food. Uh, I interview them all the time and like their big thing is they're just like, the food, the food, the food. Yeah, but I mean, you're like, you're limiting yeah, yourself. The food is insane here. Like I tried many stuff, mm -hmm. mostly protein, but... Uh, and I hold myself back whenever I see like things I really want yes. to eat. But I'm just committed to lose more. Like I lost around 25, 30 kilos. Oh far. my gosh, so congratulations. Like, so thanks. So I'm like, just uh, keep going. I'm just determined to lose more. Yes. Uh, like my goal is like, uh, yeah, five to 10 more adding muscle mass and then I'm fine, okay. pretty much. Do you, there's a lot of LEC, former LEC pros here and European pros. Do you get a chance to hang out with them? Do you want to hang out with them? I don't know if you know any of them very personally. Uh, I only saw Kobe at the Players Association meeting, I guess. Oh, yes. But yeah, I know there are many of them. Uh, it's good to have some familiar faces here. I actually don't know anyone. Like, oh, really? Like, like, not personally. Like, maybe, I don't know, some people I met at Worts in 2018 Worts, I guess. I don't know, Afrumo and, uh, yeah, Double Lift, uh, Club 9 people. But uh, it's not like I know them. I talked to them only a few times, yeah. Well, outside of your team, are you going to try to make any friends and go out and do stuff? Mm, I'll stick to practice, I think, okay. for, for the start. But, but, I don't know, time will tell. Uh, by the looks of it, uh, maybe we don't have uh, even three days. So, yeah, yeah. like, uh, uh, it's pretty weird to play on Monday for me, but uh, I'm gonna get used to it, I guess. Well, I think you only have to do it twice, um, is my understanding. I think most teams only do Mondays twice. So that you've already done one, gotten out of the way. So you should only have one more in the next like eight weeks. So yeah. hopefully it won't be that bad. Yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'll stick to practice for now. Time will tell what will happen. Anyway, I think I will. I think there will be occasions to meet people. Well, I hope you do, because, I, I mean, it's been great to have you come to North America, and I feel like uh, you're a great personality to add to the, the lineup. So is there anything you want to say to any of the EG fans? Uh, there is something I want to say to all my fans, even the ones from Europe. I know I, I left, but uh, I hope you keep uh, supporting me. It was, not, uh, it was a hard decision to leave Europe and just uh, start my journey here, so I hope you can uh, stick with me. And uh, to my new fans, I guess, AG and NA, uh, I hope, yeah, you like me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think so far people, people I think people are going to really enjoy watching you play because you definitely have an entertaining play style. And some of, our, some of our mid laners, they tend to be a little bit calmer. So either way, thank you so much for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Hey there. I always start these with thanks so much for watching the interview. I don't want to, I'm going to do something different in this outro that you're watching right now. I'm actually in the Alienware Arcade. I don't know if it's officially called that. It might be called the LCS Arcade, powered by Alienware, but I'm calling it the Alienware Arcade. Uh, shout out to them. Also shout out to Movement, who makes this wonderful watch, sunglasses, eyewear for you when you're using a computer. There's a link to both of my sponsors in the video description below. Love them both. They make it so that I can, I can do this, because uh, man, does Broden charge me a lot.